Today, September 30th, 2019, the final day, United States Army can wear the ACU pattern. It is appropriate to give the proper send-off for this uniform, one that it deserves. Burn it! You know a uniform is trash when the second a new one comes out, everybody runs to go buy it. I mean, buy it, not even wait for it to get issued. They're like, oh shit, we can wear those green ones again? Okay. I'll be at the PX grabbing three pair, cause I don't know what this is. This is the BCG of military uniforms. Those hideous glasses that you would get in basic training. The ones that make you look like you'll never have sex again. This, this is what that is. The only thing it blends in with is my gray background. And even then the blue and it stands out. Speaking of blending in with walls, what exactly does this blend in with? Five billion dollars of research, yes, five. Billion with a B worth of research on this and it doesn't blend in with any combat environment I've ever been to. How do you let this happen? The number of generals that this has to go through to be okay has got to be in the hundreds and nobody said, hey, Greg, what exactly is that thing supposed to blend in with? The Rocky Mountains? Oh, the Blue Rocky Mountains, Greg? The Blue Rocky Mountains? Yeah. What mountains are blue in Afghanistan, huh? What mountains are blue in Iraq? Are there any blue mountains in Iraq or Afghanistan or the Horn of Africa, huh? All mountains are the same. Did you just say all mountains are the same? You've got a star on your chest and you're telling me you think that all terrain looks the same across the world? Yeah. I can't argue that. Okay. That's the only way I can think of it. This uniform is so trash, Helen Keller could see you coming from a hundred meters away. Probably hear you coming too with the sound of these Velcro pockets just being so stealthy. That's stealth. Special Forces guys love this because it makes sense. Doesn't it? Speaking of Helen Keller, somebody should have bird boxed the entire U.S. Army for 15 years so we couldn't see the atrocity that is this non-camouflage camouflage pattern. I think I accidentally found how ACU camouflage works. I can't see anything. This works great now. We've been using it wrong for years. It's supposed to be a Guantanamo Bay hood. Velcro, Velcro, Velcro. Everything's Velcro. You know what else is Velcro? Your cargo pockets on your pants. Cause that makes sense. That is by far the most secure way to hold your crap in your pocket. Am I right? We still got buttons up here, but we got Velcro down here. Two washes and a month and this crap was coming off of your pockets and no matter what you had in here, pair of gloves, toothpicks, your hopes and dreams to not marry your stripper off post, gone. You could walk on a level surface two miles an hour and everything in this thing would just start jostling around, open it up, toss it out, and you'd have some NCO up your butt because you look unprofessional because your pockets are open. Well, top, if some of your sergeant major buddies up top in the army didn't just throw us under the bus with this crap uniform, maybe I wouldn't have to sew on buttons from up here. That's what we would do. We would take the buttons off our ass and put them on here because the Velcro wouldn't work. Some of you are gonna say, why are you so upset? You got this little dangly bungee cord here to tighten up so you don't lose your crap. Well, that didn't work for Dung. The only thing it was good for is your buddies would just go up behind you, pull it out of the way and snap it, crack it like a whip. Everybody had the friend that would run up behind you, grab the string, pull it tight and let it crack, whip you in the ass cheek. Boom, ow! That's the only thing it was good for. Lots of fun, lots of marks. I don't know how many welts I got on my legs from these things. It's probably why I have PTSD. How many times have you gone out on training and randomly a tree goes whoop, gone, unit patch, good luck finding that. Of course you can see this when you're walking through bushes 500 yards away. Oh hey, there's Staff Sergeant Hyde. <laughs> he thinks he can hide in this blue uniform. <laughs> Idiot. But the second you lose a patch this big, the thing is gone. Lost. Forever. Cast into the breeze. And I know some general that made this was like, <gasps> the privates can get this so they can change their unit patches and not have to pay to get them sewn on. 
brilliant. Well, guess what? We ended up sewing everything else on because we kept losing all these patches and trying to replace these ridiculously priced patches would end up costing more than just one trip to clothing and sales and getting it all sewn up looking good. But no, no. Somebody went with Velcro. It looks like you threw up a gravel palette on Microsoft Paint and then just mass printed this crap out and just threw it at people. It's cut out like it's a box. You gotta get it tailored in so you don't look like some morbidly obese dummy walking down the streets. You could be six foot seven with a six pack, but the second you put on this wrinkled trash bag, looking like you just pulled it out of your freaking laundry, you gain 30 pounds in the front. Just hangs off your chest automatically like you're pregnant. This is such an abomination, Planned Parenthood wouldn't touch it. On the positive side, it does make the homeless a lot easier to pick out. Hey look, there's one under the bridge. Hey look, there's one on the corner. Hey look, there's one under your car with the ship. Stay away. ACU patterns were probably just put in place by the CIA so they can check and track homeless veterans as they leave the military and wind up on the street. Oh my god, that actually makes sense. It's such an ugly uniform that the state guard wouldn't even touch it. Not the national guard. Talk about the state guard. Look them up. Different than the national guard. They're weird. They won't even touch it. They make up the weird, messed up fake rank that they just sew on there and say, I'm Commodore East Berenson of the 3rd Brigade. What they do do <laughs> is perfectly embody the spirit of the early 2000s. It's the most metrosexual uniform I've ever seen in my entire life when that was cool for like one year in 2004. The only thing this blends in with is your grandma's couch that she bought in 1962. Still has the plastic on it. Layaway from Sears. It's a great deal or a gravel parking lot on post as you sit there waiting for a ruck march at zero dark 30, hoping that the CO will show up so you can start your day with a 12 mile ruck march and 10 hours of weapons cleaning. Good battle buddies don't let their battle buddies wear ACUs. You know what happens when you wear ACUs? This, this happens. I'm not even gonna explain this because everybody knows what this is. If you don't know, the comment section will tell you. Ugh. You weren't even good at it. And finally, the peace stay resistance for this crap that I had to wear for 10 plus years is this. I look like an idiot. This doesn't match. This does not look good at all. Nothing about this looks good. Every single drill sergeant on the trail would get up in the morning, put on their brown round, get their BDUs, and wake up with a smile saying, ooh, I look shit hot. And then the second they transformed us into this weird digital teal bullshit, we look like a moldy pickle. A pickle drill! Seriously, look online for all the training photos of drill sergeants and ACUs. It is the most trash uniform I've ever seen. You can have chocolate chips of the wazoo on here and a long tan, and you'll still look like a dork wearing this and this. Oh, you're next, buddy. Don't you worry, you two-tone blue piece of weird-looking crap. I can't wait to get my pinks and greens.